Hello, welcome to Math Discussion. Are you having problems with order of operations? Let us use the PEMDAS rule. But what does PEMDAS stands for? P for parentheses or groupings. E for exponents. M for multiplication. D e for division. A for addition. And S for subtraction. Below is the symbol for parentheses. There are other grouping symbols that are also in use. Braces and brackets. An exponent is a number just above write a character. It is sometimes called a degree, a power, or just a superscript. It could be 2, 3, 5, 1 half, 1 third. It could also be a root. Did you know that an exponent 1 third is also expressed as a root? In the law of exponents and radicals, the exponent 1 third is also expressed as a cube root. Let's have a quick example. We have 3 times 2 inside a parenthesis, plus the square root of 4. What should be the answer? Is it 7 or 8? According to PEMDAS rule, we have to operate first parenthesis, seconded by the exponents. We have 3 times 2, that is 6. And the square root of 4. A square root can be expressed as an exponent, 1 half. The square root of 4 is 2. We have 6 plus 2. And the answer is 8. Wow, you did it. Next, we have 3 squared minus the quantity inside a parenthesis, 2 times 4. Is the answer 1 or 28? Let's start with the parenthesis. 2 times 4 is 8. This will become 3 squared minus 8. 3 squared is 9. This will become 9 minus 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. Did you get it right? Next, we have multiplication and division. In multiplication and division, there is a rule called left to right. This means that you have to operate from left to right, whichever comes first. For example, we have 3 times 2 divided by 4. So which is the answer? 3 halves or 6. First, let's multiply 3 times 2 as it comes first. 3 times 2 is 6, and divided by 4. Simplifying the numbers will give you 3 divided by 2. The answer is a fraction. 3 halves. Next, we have 3 divided by 2, multiplied by 4. 3 eighths are 6. Okay, let's divide 3 by 2, the answer is 3 halves. Now let's multiply 3 halves by 4, this will become 12 over 2. Simplifying the fraction will result to 6. Lastly, we have addition and subtraction. Again, the left to right rule is observed. For example, we have 3 plus 2 minus 4. What is your answer? Negative 1 or positive 1? Let's start adding. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 5 minus 4. The answer is positive 1. Another 1. 3 minus 2 plus 4. You choose 5 or negative 3. Subtracting 3 minus 2 is 1. Plus 4 will give you 5. Okay, let's have more examples, and this time, a little pressure. We have 2 cubed, plus the quantity inside a parenthesis, 5 times 2, divided by 10. Okay, PEMDAS is here, let's start with the parenthesis. First let's copy 2 cubed. Operating the inside of the parenthesis we have, 5 times 2, is 10, and divided by 10. Next, let's operate the exponent. Since it comes first before addition and division. 2 cubed is 8, plus 10, divided by 10. Since division comes first and not addition, let's copy 8. 10 divided by 10, is 1. Now, what's left is addition. 8 plus 1, is equal to 9. Next, we have the quantity inside a bracket, 4 plus the quantity inside a parenthesis, 5 minus 2, divided by, square root of 4. Let's start with the innermost grouping. The one inside a parenthesis, 5 minus 2, and work outwards. Let's copy 4. 5 minus 2, is 3. And copy what is left. Let's copy 4 again, and remove the parenthesis from 3, copying again what's left. Let's work on the bracket. 4 plus 3, is 7. Copying again what's left. Now, let's remove the bracket from 7 and operate the square root of 4. Square root of 4, is 2. We only have division this time. 7 divided by 2, is 3.5. Here is another one. A quantity inside a parenthesis, 12 minus 6, divided by 1, multiplied by 4, minus 6, plus 3. Let's work inside the parenthesis. 12 minus 6, is 6. Let's copy what is remaining. Now, we have division, multiplication, subtraction and addition. Let's start from the left. Division. 6 divided by 1, is 6. Copy again what remains. Next from the left, we have multiplication. 6 times 4, is 24. 
Copy again what is remaining. This time, subtraction and addition is left. Let's have subtraction. 24 minus 6, is 18. Copy plus 3. Addition is the only operation left. 18 plus 3, is 21. Let's have this one. A quantity inside a brace. And inside a brace, is a bracket. 8 times a quantity inside a parenthesis. 4 minus 3. This quantity inside a bracket is multiplied by 2. The quantity inside a brace is then divided by 4, minus 3. This is getting complicated, but we still need to start on parenthesis. Copy 8. 4 minus 3, is 1. Copy the rest. Now, multiply 8 and 1. We have, 8. Still inside the grouping. Inside the braces, multiply 8 and 2, we have 16. Copying again the rest. Division and subtraction are left. Let's do division. 16 divided by 4, is 4. Copy minus 3. Only subtraction left this time. 4 minus 3, is 1. Last example, 5 minus 2, plus 3, times 4, divided by 6, times the quantity inside a parenthesis, 5 minus the square root of 4. Easy, let's begin inside a parenthesis, and start with a root. First let's copy what comes before it. Now, let's get the square root of 4. Square root of 4, is 2. Copy again what comes before the parenthesis. Still in the parenthesis, let's get the difference, 5 minus 2, is 3. Before we proceed to subtraction and addition, let's have multiplication and division first. Copying 5 minus 2, 3 times 4, is 12. Copy the remaining, copy 5 minus 2, 12 divided by 6, is 2, copy times 3. Copying 5 minus 2 again, we have 2 times 3, is 6. Subtraction and addition left, let's start from the left. Subtraction, 5 minus 2, is 3. Copy plus 6, addition is left, 3 plus 6, is 9. 